Okay, it's time for garden update. Uh, the last garden video out here, I guess, was uh, mid-May. It's now mid-July, and things are really uh, taking off. Uh, some of it's just overgrown, but uh, this is uh, mostly a bed of peppers. I got the eggplant going there, which all the eggplant are the same variety, came from the same source, and they're all purple except this one plant and they have white or green colored eggplant don't know what's up with that uh, this bed of peppers here gets morning shade and because of those tomatoes growing right there it actually gets evening shade too and uh, well, the plants are taller but they don't seem to be as productive as the ones out in the full sun Got some peach habaneros Getting some ripe ones on there. Those tomatoes are they've been neglected, but you can see that's that's as high as I can reach, and they're a lot higher than that. Been eating tomatoes out of it for couple weeks now squash and green beans growing that was where the broccoli and everything was it's uh, I was gonna plant some corn try to grow some corn but I've just been so busy haven't gotten around to it yet I don't think it's too late still uh, that's amaranth and that looks like it's probably about 10 or 12 feet tall it looks like it's just starting to form seed heads up there. Got some basil. The collards and the kale. Yeah, it's it's done. I just haven't cleaned it up. Everything's it's really hot today. Uh, the zinnias did good. The cucumbers that I planted with them, eh, not so good. At least we have been eating some, but uh, I don't think I will plant them together like that next year. Uh, the These are all the container-grown peppers down through here, and they're doing really good. I've never, never had a lot of luck with containers, but uh, these are doing really nicely. Uh, got some Trinidad Yellow Scorpion SRs, and... Uh, Got a lot of them getting ripe on here. I'm going to pick these really soon. These are really hot peppers. Uh, this plant here is the Jamaican hot chocolate cross with the pepper, peppermania purple. There's more peach habaneros. What are these? Uh, those are Harold St. Bart's. Pretty good, pretty good crop of them going. Uh, yellow Scorpion Cardies. Those are really nice. I have a nice crop of those. These are really productive peppers. Um, the, Seven pot primos going there. Uh, got a few of them starting to ripen. Some of them have really nice tails on them. Uh, let's see if I can find one. The ripe ones with tails, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, heat crystals. There's some ripe ones down in there. The garden looking a little bit neglected, but uh, this is the time of year I don't have a lot of time to spend in the garden. These are all mostly uh, sweet peppers and uh, Anaheim type peppers, and uh, got some serranos going and.
These are biker billy jalapenos. Long ways from ripe. There's one of those peppermania purple. Uh, that's the pepper that crossed with my Jamaican hot chocolate last year. I'm growing out. This little plant here I thought uh, was a uh, biker billy jalapeno, but uh, it is actually a Bulgarian carrot. Uh, and for such a small plant, it's just loaded with peppers. I picked quite a few off of it already. Got some fish peppers growing here. This, this bed is all super hot. There's boot jalokias, yellow boots, chocolate boots, brown boots. The three different kinds of yellow scorpions. Um, I don't know, two or three different kinds of red boot jalokias. Not a lot is ripening yet. Some of the seven pods are ripening. Uh, I picked a yellow boot. And, uh, I didn't eat it, I actually gave it away yesterday. So. Uh, brown boot chilokias are starting to ripen. Those are just beautiful peppers. yellow scorpion uh, cardi strains. Looks like one's getting ripe in there. And more there. Alright, what is that one? That one's labeled Aussie red seven pot so whatever that means some kind of seven pot that's a seven pot barack pour this one it's got some peppers ripening on it these were supposed to be primos but they're either jonas or barack pours or some other Type of seven pot, they're really nice. Uh, this one, this plant here is a seven pot primo, without a doubt. It's got some more of those really evil looking stinger pods. Not very big, but uh, they look like they could hurt you. And it's pretty loaded. I got the, the stinger on that one. That stinger's probably three quarters of an inch long. I haven't tasted one of these yet. Looks like it won't be long. That one doesn't have the stinger on it, but uh, I'm sure the flavor and the heat's there. More seven pot black pours. These tomatoes. I don't know, they're ten feet tall. And uh, I haven't fertilized them. I just mixed some compost in the ground and evidently it had uh, an excess of nitrogen. There are some tomatoes on it, but man, the, the vines are just huge. Uh, well, there's several different varieties. These are Isis candies here. And one of the sweetest tomatoes. Oh, I just dropped that one. Well, there's plenty. I'll get another one. Mmm. Yep, it's good. These look like yellow boot jalokias.
know if you can't get through here. These beds are about four feet apart and <laughs> plants have grown together so much you can't hardly fit through. There's some Trinidad scorpions down there getting ripe. Red ones. Those were not labeled as butch tea scorpion, just Trinidad scorpion. Here it is. Look at there. That one's going in the house. That is a brown buchilokia. Pepper lovers strain there. And more yellow scorpions. <laughs> 